Hey everybody, welcome back to Canelo's Corner. I got to meet the artist Wyland, who does paintings all over the world about ocean and sea life. I got to interview him and ask a few questions. Check him out. What was the um, biggest painting that you ever made? Okay, so I painted a wall in Long Beach, California on the side of the sports arena, and it was three acres. It, it ended up in the Guinness Book World Records, the largest mural ever painted in the history of the world. I'm, I'm that guy. I paint big. And are you afraid of heights? Because these paintings are high. This one's not very high. I've painted on murals like the one in Chicago's 37 stories high. Yes, I'm scared, I'm scared of heights. I'm not scared of falling. I'm afraid of hitting the ground. How long have you been painting for? So I've been painting since I was four and I'm 66. So I've been painting a long time. Years. Yeah, that's right. Six, he's good at math too, huh? You're going to go far, kid. And yep. um, what's your favorite thing to draw? Uh, whatever I'm drawing. My dad's cousin is an ocean biologist, and I have a few questions for him. Uncle Marky, why are cookie cutter sharks' mouths shaped like a circle? Why do female seahorses give the male seahorses the babies? Was that 60-foot shark that was caught on video really a megalodon? And what was the biggest sea creature ever found? Aloha Kanoa, thanks for sending in your great marine biology no. questions. I'll try my best to answer them. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Mark Sullivan and I work for NOAA's Hawaiian Monk Seal Research Program. Your first question was great. It was why do cookie cutter sharks have round mouths? And basically it's to allow them to prey on animals that are much bigger than them because cookie cutter sharks are really small, but they're quick and they can swim right up to something like a whale or a dolphin or a tuna or a seal and attach themselves to their prey with their suctoral lips and their sharp teeth can excise a plug right out of the animal and the shark can swim on its way. Side note, here in Hawaii, at least half of our monk seals have scars from cookie cutter shark bites. And these scars are in various places of the seal's body and they help scientists to identify each individual seal. Why do female seahorses give their eggs to their male partner to incubate and birth? Now, I don't know why more animals don't do this, but it's brilliant and it's because it shortens the overall reproductive cycle and allows the pair to create more baby seahorses faster. The next question, was that a megalodon filmed off of Massachusetts from the sailboat? And I hadn't even heard of this, so I had to Google it. I saw the video footage and read some articles and it seems the jury's out because no one really confirmed what species it was, but I think it's a basking shark because of the wide head and the slow movement of the tail. Your last question was, what's the biggest animal in the world? And that's hands down the blue whale. The largest ever found was just under 100 feet long and 200 tons. Now that's bigger than even the biggest dinosaur fossils ever found. Oddly enough though, a uh, lion's mane jellyfish get even longer than the blue whales. The longest one ever found was 120 feet. So a jellyfish is actually longer than the blue whale. Thanks, Uncle Marky. That was informative. Well, I'm Kanoa from Kanoa's Corner. Peace.